Hey guys, Red Eye Guy Jean here again. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, before I start today, I just want to say thank you uh, to all my new subscribers. Not that there's not that there's so many of them, but um, enough for me to notice. So thank you, um, and also. Um, just uh, thanks to everyone who's been viewing uh, my videos uh, up until now and uh, especially for putting up with my off-the-cuff sort of unpolished style um, that's that's something that I'll probably stick to um, so I'm not I'm not sort of looking to start spending a lot of time polishing um, polishing videos up uh, so what what you see is pretty much um, what what I'm what I'm coming up with at the moment or, or the moment before I'm saying it so thanks for uh, yeah for watching me uh, anyway uh, today Following on from my last video uh, where I talked a little bit about um, driving a car in Japan, I wanted to uh, talk a bit today about um, trains and, and behavior on trains. Uh, trains are probably the most common form of transport um, in Japan, uh, I think, but, well, at least for distances too long. Uh, to walk or, or um, to, to ride a bicycle um, and once you, s you uh, move to Japan you will soon come to know the um, behavior that is accepted or expected or, or that just goes on um, when you're catching a, a train in Japan so um, I guess uh, to start with, um, you don't really need to check timetables for trains and, and what time they connect to certain lines unless you're running, you know, from four different or three or four different meeting places in one day and you have to get there um, at, at sort of, if you're, cut, if, if you're strapped for time. And, and you, um, you're not sure if you'll actually get there on time, that's when you would need to check. And um, there are a lot of tools which allow you to do that in Japanese and English. And I'll, I think I'll post um, one or two of them underneath this video. But um, once you actually get to the train station, um, you uh, will have a ticket. Um, you can buy a um, a single-use ticket, um, or you can actually uh, buy tickets. Like I think in most countries, it's the same. You can sort of buy a pass that will last for a certain amount of time or um, a certain amount of usage. Uh, but anyway, when when you're actually um, you know, waiting for a train to arrive, which is probably going to be a, a less um, a less amount of time than what you're used to because the trains are so regular, um, at least in 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 the cities. Um, you are um, you're going to have to line up on either side of the doors. So you line up in a way that sort of um, Generally, there's two lines for each door, and uh, you stand behind the little uh, yellow line of safety, which is probably common, but everyone lines up before they get in. Um, and then, as soon as the doors open, uh, people will pour out, and, um, and they will... They will literally walk uh, in between the two lines that are waiting to go in. Now, um, generally, uh, you wait until the last person gets out, 
Um, and then, you know, people would start going in. Jumba uh, like um, in, in order of, of of the line as of the two straight lines, and they would just uh, rush in and, and take their spot. Now, um, what you might be surprised at is um, in in certain areas um, where you know there are a lot of people waiting and, and seats are limited. You'll be surprised at how aggressive people are at, at um, getting in to the train carriage and actually uh, securing their spot. So it, it's an interesting thing to watch. Um, you, you'll sort of see them, uh, you know, while generally making no eye contact with anyone around, um, just staying very focused on the seat that they're aiming for, rushing. Uh, rushing to it, placing their ass on the seat, and um, and then often uh, they will close their eyes. So that and, and and I think that the, the most common thing to do on a train is uh, rest or um, or you know at least um, close your eyes and um, and pretend to sleep. And, and it's, a very, it's a very convenient thing because um, I, I, I can see, well, I, I'm not sure if it's intentional or not. I'm sure some, some, sometimes it is, but um, I see guys, you know, uh, in their 20s and, and girls in their 20s and 30s, and they rush in, get a seat, close their eyes, and that way they shut out any guilt that... Um, that might possibly creep into their um, their hearts uh, regarding the people around them who are often older because they're slower to get to the seat um, and, and, uh, and basically they put their head down and they don't wake up uh, or, or they don't open their eyes at least um, you know until um, they they get to where they want to get off. So, I mean, this isn't everyone, but it's an interesting little phenomena to watch. And I'm, I'm almost certain that in the peak hours in the morning and, and coming home, you will, you will see like a, a few awkward moments where two people have had their, um, their eyes on the same seat uh, or space on a seat and uh, one just beats the other. So, um, the other one just sort of <laughs> disappointedly just stands and uh, and and pretends to go to sleep while still standing up. Um, and, and that's another thing to mention. Um, the uh, once everyone's taken up all the seats, um, there are these little um, handles hanging from the ceiling. Uh, for people to use, uh, you know, while they're standing up, and often they're used as sort of pivots for the for um, their bodies uh, as they're sort of hanging and, and half sleeping while they're standing. Uh, and I used to think this was uh, this was ridiculous, and, and you know, how on earth could someone sleep standing up, uh, especially when they could possibly miss their stop, but uh, it is possible, and I ended up being one of those guys that does it. Um, so, <laughs> so there you go. Um, anyway, uh, I think I'll leave it at that. This is just a, a little bit of uh, denture, denture culture, train culture over in Japan. Uh, probably more common for the, the subway lines and, and busy places like that, but uh, interesting all the same. So, um, yeah, that's it for, uh, for now. Hope you guys are all well. Comment, uh, what, what have your funny experiences been like on trains? Um, and, uh, do you agree with what I'm saying or not? Let me know. Cheers. Red Eye Gaijin.